Hey guys, Luke here, and welcome back to Season 3, Episode 1 of the James Hart Rugby League Live 3 Be a Pro Career Mode. Now, obviously, you can see at the start here, we're just changing his up appearance a little bit, and we decided to go with uh, the pink boots, just going for the full Bret Hart look, going for the Hart Foundation colours, and uh, I thought that's um, pretty awesome, and, uh, you know, a lot of charities and stuff. I don't know. I always think of pink when I think of heart for some reason. So, uh, going for the pink boots. Plus, you know, that's what a lot of the uh, a lot of the star players uh, seem to wear. They wear those big, um, colourful boots or the fluoro sort of colours and that sort of stuff. So, we've gone for that. Considering he was the Dally M player of the year uh, in his first season in first grade. What we didn't get to do last season was uh, play in the nine. So, it's a pretty good opportunity for young James Hart. He's already established himself in the NRL. Can he make his mark on the Alka Nines tournament? Um, you know, remains to be seen um, what can happen. Um, but we are fielding, or the Bulldogs are fielding a pretty um, strong lineup for the Alka Nines. And, I mean, it's not a sign of things to come by any means, I don't think, for uh, the season, uh, for sure. Like, you've seen plenty of times the team who wins Alka Nines so far haven't won the um, Premiership. <laughs> Obviously, both sides that have won it have won the Premiership in those two years, but obviously just swapped around. Rabbitohs won it the second year, and they won it um, the year before that, like the NRL comp, and then the Cowboys won it the first year for the Nines, and then followed up the next year by winning the NRL Premiership. You see, I think it's CFR, you know, it's Ben Barber. Um, ben Barber, he palmed us off there. That was terrible by, um, by James Hart. They should have made that tackle, and then the former Bulldogs fullback races away, uh, runs the length of the field. We nearly ended up catching um, Ben Barber. We probably should have caught him, to be totally honest with you. And they followed up here, because obviously you get the ball back um, from the other team scoring a try. So you get the ball from the kickoff, which is um, not like um, a normal game of NRL, a normal game of Rugby League. Obviously, uh, you kick off... Oh, sorry, you would be receiving the ball if you score a try, which isn't the case in here. And we did follow it up. We dropped in the ball, and then Michael Ennis, I think it was... Oh, it's uh, Fafita, I think it was, actually, who scored. See right here, this is Scissor Wonga on the ball here, I think. Gets a pass off. Maybe this... I don't know who this is. Maybe this is Fecky. But it's up to us to try and chase him down. But you can see there, why waste the energy? Why waste the energy uh, trying to chase him when they've got a start on us? And it is Fecky this time who's going to race away. Score a bonus try. So 15 nil down after five minutes. This is turning out to be a disaster of an Auckland Nines um, star. I can't say I'm too disheartened or anything. But we are going to take on Ben Barber here. We should have cut inside there. And we did sort of cut inside. Um, but we just too uh, harsh of a harsh of a turn. We didn't want to change, you know, the full, like the animation for changing direction and sort of go back a little bit. We just needed to change briefly or um, just enough that we could sort of change directions without losing any momentum. And that's exactly what we did. And then we followed up with some more shit. And that time that try wasn't down to us, I don't think. Although we did give a ball away, gave them the field position. Um, we held them out. And I think it was Luke Lewis who grabbed the ball. And it's just one of those things where the game decides to throw it around um like on the stroke of half time or full time and it's something they need to fix because although it does happen in real life and it was something we we're crying out for to happen in the game it's just not effective there's been no point in the game where i've considered a try in that um sort of fashion or i've been you know even looked like considering a try or anything it's just really really annoying all it is because it just those that sort of tries intercepts which doesn't happen in real life you know they don't throw the ball around like this well just like that that little movement there although it was in the 10th minute that's the sort of thing that they seem to do. I'm on the half-time and full-time sirens, and it doesn't even matter. We could be on our own trial line, and they still want to do it. But there's an intercept. It is picked off by the Sharks player. And can James Hart reach him? No, he cannot. And Michael Ennis, he races his way and scores, and he will go and convert that goal from right in front with a field goal there. Four and five from Mick Ennis against his former club. There's a fair few... Um, former Sharks here in this side, but you see here, James Hart, he burns Barber on the outside there, and he'll race away, and he'll score first try for the Bulldogs in the Auckland Nines there, so good work there by the hitman Hart, James Hart there, and then will it be converted from the sideline? No, it won't be. Trent Hawkinson can't kick it, and i got to say, we've been absolutely annihilated so far in this game, and hopefully we can sort of just get a bit of pride here. That's great work there by James Hart in the line there. I know you're supposed to defend in the line, I believe, um... Uh, at this, as the fullback in the Auckland Nines, I think it always was directing us to go into the line, but we uh, decided to go into the back line because all it was doing was creating those sort of line breaks there, and if we weren't there, they score a try. But you see right here is an opportunity to get out and maybe go length of the field. I thought there was if we hit, hit, um, headed to the outside to the, you know, we continued to go around the winger, but we didn't do that. 
cut back inside, and I thought we nearly were going to get out, um, and we nearly got out for sure, but um, I think it was Fecky, whoever it was on that wing, they sort of just read the game too well, and as soon as we started going one way, they were already there, so that's why we decided to turn around, that we maybe should have just tried to palm them off, and uh, they ended up scoring a try, maybe it was Jack Bird or someone, I don't know who it was, but they scored another try, and 36-4 was how it finished, with James Hart getting man of the match for, in terms of Bulldogs, obviously Jack Bird got man of the match for the whole game, and see, they're not a great performance from us, we've got to take on the Roosters next, who should have a pretty good side on this. The game doesn't take into account things like real life where, you know, you coaches like Des Hasler and Trent Robinson and stuff, they won't send um, proper, like, teams over. Whereas, Reese is on here, full strength side. They've got Kenny Bromwich this year. they got Tom Burgess as well, um, which is a big inclusion to their side. So, that's good stuff for them. And I wanted to show this. Their very first play, I think, was from, uh, obviously, there was like a forward pass or something. So, there's no scrums in this game. You just play the ball or maybe even tap it. I can't remember what it was. But they just passed it to Dylan Napa, who raced away and just, not raised away, but he just ran forward, really. And that's what I found uh, in this, this um, Auckland Nines is... You just got to run straight from those taps and you're good to go. Like, my team can't defend for some reason. You see, right here, we're wrapping around here and we end up with a bit of space and we get it to number three. I'm not sure who it was, but I thought that was some pretty nice play from us. And we're doing a bit of ball playing as well um, this game. So, uh, obviously, just showing off some of our skills here. Um, we are a pretty good player in attacks. Our defense that worries us a little bit, but we haven't really had too much opportunity to display any of that because we've either been trying to do a little bit too much um, because we've had barely any ball. And then the times we, you know, been in defense, we just haven't been impressive. As we can see, another try, Joseph Paulo, who in real life is signed. He just signed with um, Cronulla Sharks, I believe. But interesting signing for the Roosters on this game. And James Maloney, he slots a goal, two from two. See that? I don't know if that was actually us who put the kick in. I think it was Hawkinson, actually. But there's an overlap straight away. And Kenny Dow on the ball there. But we end up making a pretty good read in the fence. Waiting for the pass to Tupo, which never came. And... There's another tackle. I think it's on Kenny Dow. Maybe it's on Takiyaho. I'm not really sure there exactly, but we're involved in another tackle here just before half time. Got about a minute left, but they go straight for a hole there, and they just score another easy try. That is Kenny Dow who ends up scoring. I'm not sure who it was, if like if that was the same player we tackled, but uh, what a joke of a side. Uh, uh, you know, it's just a bit of a joke, the amount of tries we're conceding, but you can see there, some great defense right before half time. There was 10 seconds left. They actually made their way over the line. Maybe it was Jake Friend or someone, but... We came up with a pretty crucial tackle there, drove him back out into the field of play there. And then we have a nice tackle um, right at the start of the half. And then we follow it up with, you know, Dylan Napa scoring his second try. This is what I'm talking about with teams. They just decided to throw it around for no reason, willy-nilly. We weren't calling for it, nothing. I don't know why the hell they decided to throw that sort of pass. Just very frustrating. But right here, we're going to make a call off the ball here. I think it was Hawkinson who had the ball, just took to the line. We get it to this player, number 12. I'm not sure who it is, but, um, you know, maybe should have done a little bit better. And then right there... Terrible um, decision making by James Hart to go for the legs on your own goal line, but I mean, I don't know. At least we we're there. At least we had an attempt. We probably should have went for the for the arm pin tackle. That's what you got to do there, or even the, the tackle around the ribs and try and drive him back. But right here, two of us are Sheck, I believe it is. They're going to score another try here, and it is Rock and Roger. Roger, two of us are Sheck, <laughs> possibly in front of his uh, well, his actual fans from New Zealand, um, as he's playing for the Warriors in real life. But obviously, still at the Roosters here. But uh, I'm sure the New Zealand faithful still be loving Roger Tuovasa-Shek. And that was a pretty nice try scored. Brett Morris came up out of the line. He was going for the intercept. Didn't get it. And thankfully, we sort of just hold on. I know it was, uh, I say hold on. It was 36-0. But, you know, we showed a little bit of fight towards the end. But not too much. You can see there, we polled the best or scored the best. Uh, at James Hart, I'm talking about. Um, got the most of uh, the best player of our side, which doesn't really say much. But um, it is showing that we are trying. We are trying really hard. That's... That's the main thing, and I've got to say, we are a bit promising, and, you know, we're taking on the Broncos this last game, we won't be progressing to the to the knockout stages or anything, and, you know, we're just looking to have an impressive performance, really, I'm not really sure if we can get a win, but um, if we can have a good good um, outing, maybe we can get ourselves involved in a lot of the play, that'd be um, really nice, but our first involvement was a little scoot from dummy half, didn't really get anywhere, but we had pretty good leg drive, which is something we've been working on for a while, we're going to take it around Darius Boyd, who has made a lot of uh, rundowns on us recently, you see there, Daniel Vito chasing as well, but we step past Vito, and James Hart will race away and he will score a bonus try there. Darius Boyd, what were you doing? And also Daniel Vito, get owned there. He got absolutely wrecked there, Daniel Vito. Let's look at that step. He's left, clutching it there. He went for the big dive, the big dramatic dive when you didn't have to. And that's why you're now at Salford, I believe. Not even the WWE would want you after that one. 
So uh, Hawkinson, he slots that from right in front, and James Hart has got them off to a brilliant start this game. So that's his second try of Orkin Nines. So that's something we should mention as well. So, you know, not a bad track record. We've got two tries in th um, three games so far. Can we make it three tries in three games? That would be nice. You see, they were finding a lot of room, especially up the short side is really easy. And right there, that's just another example of us just being a little bit dumb, just turning a little bit too sharply and going into the animation where they stop. And, you know, we pretty much ended up facing our own goal line, which is not what you want. See, right here, we're going to get pretty fortunate that it did touch the Broncos. I'm not sure why it wouldn't be uh, I know a repeat set or whatever, but it wasn't. And then there was an opportunity for, I think it was Damien Cook. He should have just, you know, drew and passed, but he didn't do that. Now, right here, that's a pretty good play from us. We get it to the number three. Not sure exactly who that was, but... I feel he could have done a little bit better with it. And then we got Jack Reed. He's gone straight through. It's a foot race. Can James Hart get there? No, he can't. As he goes over to Dick Smith logo. And Jack Reed, he scores a number 12. Not something I'm used to seeing. The numbers are so weird on this. I'm, it's hard to tell who people are. Like the halfback is always the number fives in that one here. So it's a bit strange. But uh, you see at half time, um, it's 7-4. So we've got the lead. And we started out second half very, very strong. We make a tackle. Um, and then we followed up with an attempt on another tackle. But Daniel Vito finds himself in space. And that's just the same thing where they go for the interceptor rather than going for the, the smart play, which would be just make the tackle. So they go for the miracle play of the intercept and doesn't pay off. Daniel Villa races away and scores. And you see that we didn't even bother chasing. Uh, like I said earlier, why waste the energy? Um, it's only a short game, so you want to have maximum energy uh, as much as you can here. Now we're backing up here. We call for the ball. I don't know how Darius Boyd didn't get suckered in to making a tackle just there, but he didn't. And that ended up costing us dearly there as uh, Darius Boyd ended up you know, chasing us down there. We ran up, we run around, well, we're trying to run around the Broncos for the last play of the game. Obviously, it didn't work out. You can see that we threw a forward pass, but uh, I don't know. I should have just maybe just pinned the ears back and just kept running sideways until there was um, an opportunity because it was opening up a little bit, but a 10-7 loss. It is a bit annoying that we lost that game, but um, we can be proud that we put a bit more effort into that last game. Another thing we can be proud of is we progressed into the 80, um, the 80 grading mark, so uh, that's pretty good from us. You can see that we're sort of putting more agility and that sort of stuff in. We've got pace, but we want that blistering pace to get past the likes of Darius Boyd and that. See, the Rabbitohs, they backed up um, their real life win in 2014 with a win in the 20, is it 2016, 2017, 2017, this is season three, so 2017 season. I don't even know who won last season, but uh, the Rabbitohs are the ones who won this one. I think I saw that they beat the Roosters, so we lost to um, the champions. They absolutely thumped us. Oh, sorry, we lost to the runners-up. Anyways, that's where this video is going to end. Hope you did enjoy it. Please leave a like if you did. Um, subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter at MrLukeMyT. Face the page in the description below. And I'll see you for my next video. Bye, guys.